All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. This video I want to talk about, um, one of the videos I posted a few days ago, it was our first slaughterhouse vigil here in South Australia. Now, just a little bit of a backstory. We've never done a vigil here. Um, I took the reins, so to speak, and just decided to organize one. I went and scouted at a slaughterhouse and seen when a truck arrived. I thought it would be a good one to just uh, sort of for a training sort of thing, just to get the activists um, used to it. It was new to all of us, we had never done it before. So we decided, I, I got in touch with Toronto Pig Save and got some tips and pointers, and we decided to just go ahead and do it. Um, did it turn out perfectly? No. The truck driver didn't want to stop, um, even though he agreed um, at the window for him to stop. He didn't stop, we had activists in front and he was barging the activists. And obviously, first time, a bit nervous, didn't know what he was going to do. We let him go after 20 seconds. But it did give us a chance to tell the pig's story, which is not an abject failure. So let's just have a look at some of the comments left by some of these people in the comments section. Just trivializing the efforts here. Why didn't you actually do something to help these poor animals? It makes my blood boil seeing people stand around watching this wholesale murder and basically doing nothing. Stand in front of the trucks and stop them. God, this channel is such a waste of time. A bunch of ineffective enablers more concerned about making videos than saving animals from murder. So this person just um, is saying that it was just a, a waste of time. Um, I'm a waste of time, this channel is a waste of time, and we, we basically did nothing. Keep that in mind because I wanna show you, I'm gonna show you what this video actually did. Here was another one, this is uh, Big Ring. I think this, I'm pretty sure this is a troll account from a, a bigger YouTuber, but I'm not 100% I'm not on that. What did all this actually achieve? Hopefully something down the track, maybe nothing, but makes the activists feel good and gives them something to do on weekends. So trivializing um, and making a mockery of animal saves, vigils, stopping trucks, showing people the animals inside the trucks before they go to slaughter, I think that that's absolute, just complete garbage because I think it helps a lot of people seeing the faces of the animals before slaughter. But let's just see the email that I've got from this lady, which is really, really, is actually amazing. So I got an email from her September last year, 2016. Hi, I'm Mallory, 32 from Galt, CA, USA, that might be California, near Sacramento. So she found my video for TVC. Just giving herself a little bit of a backstory here. Um, she watches my channel. So the question is, how can I convert my son over to veganism? I've been trying what you said about showing him the truth. He's eight. I know you don't have kids, but I thought you could help. He said he doesn't want to see any slaughterhouse videos. I, I tried to explain to him it's bad for him. The, the meat is bad for him, but he cuts me off and says he doesn't want to hear it. Okay, so here she is. She's having some troubles trying to uh, convert her son to veganism. And I gave her some tips. I said keep trying, I can't remember exactly what I said, but because I'm not an expert on parenting, you can only plant the seed with your kids and keep trying and keep trying to lead by example and hope for the best. I know sometimes there's two parents, one's eating meat and one's going vegan, so it can be tough. But anyway, I got this um, email from her last night and it says, Hey Joey, I had to email you. Three nights ago my son asked to watch one of your videos. So of course I said, sure. He said, can I pick the video? I said, sure. So he wanted to watch the three minute video you posted uh, the other day about the truck full of pigs about to go to the slaughterhouse. Then towards the end of the video, he started crying. I said, oh buddy, I didn't know you were going to get so upset. And when you said, and here's the refrigerator truck that comes out after the pigs have been chopped up into pieces, it just clicked for him. They come in as pigs and they come out cut up into pieces in these refrigeration trucks, so... After the video, he told me he wanted to go vegan. I don't know if you remember me telling you about how hard it was changing kids. I wanted him to figure it out and make the decision for himself. I switched last June. My, hu my husband switched four months ago. My husband weight has dropped from 280 pounds down to 255. He's been riding his bike a lot. Anyways, I've shown my son your videos anytime he wanted to watch them. Then he watched a few of Bite Size Vegan's videos to help him understand. So day one, my son ate no animal products. Day two, my dad took him to Subway and my son didn't know he could order the Veggie Delight. He will learn. 
I will teach him how to order when he goes out to eat with my dad. I'll also let my dad know so he can help him when I'm not there. So thank you so much, Joey. You helped my son make the connection that I couldn't. He was actually annoyed every time I tried to tell him info. I love all of your videos and I'm a voice for the voiceless every day to as many people as I can. I consider myself an activist. I hope to be out on YouTube one day soon. That is awesome. Isn't that awesome? So this lady, Mallory, hope you're watching Mallory and to your son, keep going, mate. That's awesome to hear. You're doing a massive service for the animals. And like I said, they're suffering greatly and they need all the help they can get. So I just wanted to make this video because I know like some activists, you might not get the best responses sometimes for your work. Sometimes you might not get hardly no response. I mean, my channel isn't the biggest on YouTube, but I try to be effective in, in the small reach that I have. And I know there's a lot of other YouTubers that might not feel rewarded. I mean, being an activist, sometimes it's, it's a rewardless work, especially those that are on the front lines going into the slaughterhouse, getting the footages. No one really, they don't really get a pat on the back and good on you, keep going. But this sort of thing here, getting emails like this really reinforces the work that we are doing as activists. So if I never made that video, her son might not have seen it. Well, he wouldn't have seen it and he wouldn't have gone vegan at this point. I think it, it really helped. And people like this saying, a bunch of ineffective enablers more concerned about making videos than saving animals from murder. Well, making videos is saving animals from murder. That's what people don't understand. Posting pictures from inside these trucks helps people make the connection, okay? Making a little effective short video with some music behind it to appeal to people's emotions so they can empathize with these animals it is activism and it works and this is just evidence of it. Makes the activists feel good and give them something to do on weekends. Do you think we wanted to go out? Do you think this is what we want to do? We want to go out and stop trucks so we can show people suffering faces of pigs? Do you think that's like our favorite pastime? Not at all. It's nerve wracking going out and doing that stuff. Thinking, oh, is the slaughterhouse worker gonna come out? What's gonna happen? Like, are the police gonna come? You know, it's, it's uncomfortable. It's a lot easier to go ride your bike up a hill and, you know, not worry about it, drink some, some juice and just forget about the animals. That's fine. It's actually tough for these activists to go out and stop these trucks and it is effective. I don't care what anyone says. So to all the activists out there making videos, keep going. You never know who could be watching and, you know, who's going to go vegan from it. So don't listen to what people say in the comments section. I mean, the majority of those comments were really positive. We're gonna keep doing vigils, uh, keep showing people what these animals are going through, and you know, we're, we're all making a, a difference here together, so.